Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Marcella. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you a workout that you can do at home. Um, I'm going to be doing quite an opening flow for you guys. Um, so level will be sort of intermediate level. Um, don't need any props really. I am going to use my blanket at the start of the class, which you can use as well, um, just to help. Okay. So we're going to be starting in what's known as hero pose. So you're going to come onto your um, knees and your shins. You're going to come onto either the toes curled under, which is going to open up the soles of the feet, or you can come into the tops of the feet. So yogi's choice, whichever feels comfortable. You've also got this black blanket here that you can use as a prop if you need to, just to rest your feet onto if it does feel uncomfortable there. Okay, I'm not going to use that in this practice, but that's an option that you can do at home. So just take a couple of moments just to bring your awareness to your body, bring your awareness to the mat. Um, we're going to place the left hand on top of the right hand, really focus on broadening the collarbones and just close the eyes for a moment and just naturally start to deepen the breath. Starting to take deeper inhales through the nose and exhales through the nose. Your next inhale, reach the arms out either side of you. Bring in palm to palm, lean back slightly. And then as we exhale, bring the hands forward, pull the belly button in. As we come down, take the arms out in front of you, rest in the forehead onto the mat. Inhale, slowly roll up. Reach the arms out either side, leaning back, bring your palm to palm. Then as we exhale, pull the belly button in, round and forward, taking the arms out in front of you. So just take a few more, just so we can really open up the heart, open up the chest, we'll open up the shoulders here as well, just so we can start to warm up our bodies. And then from here, we're going to lean forward, place the hands down onto the mat, take the legs back slightly. So we're coming into our child's pose. Press down through the fingertips. And as you inhale, you're going to reach the heart and chest through, rolling up, coming to lie onto our fronts. Legs are straight, tops the feet pushing in. Reach the heart and chest up into a cobra. And then exhale, come back down, press the palms in, sit bones lift up, come back into your child's pose. Take two more here, so inhale, fingers push into the mat, chest and heart rolls forward. Coming all the way through, add the legs if you can. And then exhale, coming back. One more time, inhale, roll through. Add the legs, come back down, push the hands in, sit bones up and back into child's pose. Inhale, just roll all the way through to lie onto your front. And we're just going to roll onto one side. So take the left arm out to the side, roll onto the left. You're going to use your right hand here for support. So press the right hand down onto the mat. Lift that top leg up, stretch the foot, just open up the side of the legs here. Then lower back down, roll back over onto your front. Take the right arm out in front of you, coming onto the right side. Again, we're using our left arm here for support. Lift the left leg up and then lower back down. Rolling back onto our fronts. Place the forehead onto the mat now. So your arms are reaching out behind in front of you, your legs are reaching out behind you. Tops of the feet push in, your forehead is going to push down onto the mat and we're going to alternate the arms and the legs. So what you'll do is with your forehead resting down, you're going to lift the left arm up, lift the right leg up. And then you're going to swap, lifting the right arm up and the left leg. And just take just a couple of these just to build some strength here. The 
then take the arms behind you, we're going to interlace the hands, reach the arms up and really pull the shoulders in towards each other, lifting the heart and chest up. And then exhale, release, take the arms down either side of you, let's come up onto all fours for tabletop. So hands want to be resting underneath the shoulders, really spread the fingers, knees want to be hip distance apart. From here you're going to push down through your right hand and through your left leg. Bend the right leg, taking the heel up towards the ceiling, take your left arm out in front of you, reach around, tap the heel, come back down. Take it onto the other side, so lift that left leg up, reach the heel up towards the ceiling, take your right arm out in front of you, reach around, tap the heel, come back down. One more time on the other side, lifting that right leg up, heel to ceiling, take that left arm out in front of you, hook around, this time take a hold of the outer edge of that foot, kick back and release. One more time on the other side, again take a hold of the outer edge of the foot, kick back and release. Coming back into tabletop, okay? Then from here take the hands out in front of you just slightly as we make our way into downward dog. So you're going to lift the hips up, relax the neck, relax the head. Now keeping the knees bent here, so really bend down through the knees and take the hips to the back of the room. So you should feel like you're lengthening from the sides of the waist. And then from here, so we're rooting down, just push the hips up. Come back down, straighten the legs, down one more time, straighten the legs. Walk the hands back to the feet, take the feet about a mat's distance apart, pointing the toes out to the front corners of the mat, heels pointing in, lower the sit bones down into a malasana squat. Bringing hands to heart, opening up the arms to the inner sides of the thighs. Just going to gently open up the legs here. Now really focus on broadening the collarbones, drawing the shoulder blades down the back, okay? We really want to focus on creating space. So again, use your inhale here to help bring the breath up into the heart and the chest area. Exhale, lower down the hands, lift the hips up, let the head and neck hang freely. A little sway from side to side. Inhale, come back down into Malasana. One more time, lower down the hands, take the hips up, take a little sway. And then inhale, coming back into Malasana. Take the hands down, walk the hands out in front of you, coming back into your downward dog. This time, try and take a full downward dog, reaching the heels down towards the mat. Now don't worry if your heels don't quite get there, you can keep them elevated, okay? But we really want to create length in the spine and we don't want to dump all the weight into the hands. And then from here, inhale, lift the right leg up behind you, keeping the hips square, bring that knee in towards you, place the foot down in between the hands. Take that left leg up to the top of the mat. Try and keep the big ball joints of the feet either touching or have the feet hip distance apart. Keeping the knees bent here, inhale, reach the heart and chest forward. Exhale, fold, allow the head and neck to hang freely here. Inhale, lift the heart and chest forward. Exhale, fold, walk the hands over to the left. Let the neck and head hang free. And then walk the hands over to the right. Walk the hands back to centre, really slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Pulling that belly button in, reach the arms out either side. Taking a slight bend in the back. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, so we're going to take a couple more of those just to warm up the back, warm up the spine. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Keep the knees soft, bow and head to earth. Walk the hands over to the left and then over to the right. Come back to centre, inhale, slowly roll up. Arms come out either side, palm to palm. Exhale, knees nice and soft, fold. 
bow and head to earth. Hands over to the left, over to the right, back to centre, inhale, come up. Exhale, fold, coming all the way down. You're going to step the right foot back behind you. And then from here, you're going to lower down that right knee. Stay onto the either the toes curled under, or you can come onto the top of the right foot. Yogi's choice. I find this one more comfortable for my knee. Make sure the knee of the front leg is stacked over the left ankle. Then inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, come back down. Take that left leg straight back into downward dog. Inhale, reach that right leg up. Exhale, place the foot to the in between the hands, lower down that left knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, lower back down. Let's come back into downward dog. Bottom of your exhale, bend the knee so they're nice and soft. Step the left foot to the top of the mat and then the right foot. Inhale, heart and chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, keep the sit bones low for chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, come straight into your chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step the left foot back this time. Take the left knee onto the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, lower back down. Step back into downward dog. Inhale, you're going to step the left leg up this time. Exhale, bring the knee in towards you. Place the foot down in front of the mat. Lower down the right leg. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, lower back down. You're going to step the, right, the left foot back into downward dog. Keep the knee soft. Take a step, a hop or a little jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up, straight into chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, so take a pause here if you need to take a sip of water. We're going to come on to the next little bit of the practice now. So we're going to make our way to the tops of the mat. Hopefully you're feeling more open, hopefully you're feeling warmed up. So bring the big ball joints of the feet together. And we're going to come into a pose which is called the dance of Shiva. So from here... You're going to bend the knees slightly, keep them soft. You're going to lift the right leg up. Curl, bring the toes upwards. Take the heel to the left of the room, okay? So your knee is pointed out to the right. Sit down into this pose slightly. Take the left arm up, bring the index finger to the thumb. Take your right arm out to the side, index finger to the thumb. Dance of Shiva. Okay, so from here... You're going to take that right leg straight behind you, reach that right arm forward, tap onto the heel with the left hand, inhale, come back round, dance a shiva. Come back out to the variation of dancer's pose, come forward, dance a shiva. One more time. Back into... Dance the Shiva, and then relax the hand, take that leg behind you, come straight into your crescent pose. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, take the arms behind you, lean forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lower down the hand. Step that left foot back straight into downward dog. Now from here, really pull the belly button in. And I want you to imagine a nice wave coming through the upper back. So draw the belly button. We're going to wave forward. We're curling the spine forward. Coming into our plank position. Hold here. Then bend the knees. Take the hips back and up. Downward dog. Bend the knees. Take a step, a hop or a jump to the top of the mat. Knees stay bent. Inhale, heart and chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, keep the back straight this time, coming all the way up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. So we're going to do that again onto the other side. 
So again, make sure feet are touching to the top of the mat. We're going to do that with the left leg now. So really root down through the right foot. Bend the left leg. Take that knee up. Take the left heel over to the right of the room. Toes are reaching back. Take that knee pointing over to the left of the room. From here, sit into the pose a little bit more. So bending that right leg. Taking our right arm up this time, index finger to thumb. Our left arm out to the side for Dance of Shiva. And then from here, you're going to take that left leg back behind you. Reach that left arm forward. Tap it with the right arm. Inhale, come back up, Dance of Shiva. Come back round into the pose. Coming back up. One more time. Coming back up. Release the hands. Take that leg straight back behind you for crescent. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, take the arms behind you. Lean the torso forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, lower down the hands either side of the front foot. Step straight back into downward dog. Now, again, imagine pulling that belly button in. You're going to curl the spine forward, coming onto your toes. Forward into plank. Then bend the knees, take the hips up and back into downward dog. Bend the knees, take the knees over to the left. Take them back up to centre. Bend the knees, take the knees over to the right. Coming back up to centre. Shift forward into plank. We're going to come into a side plank now, so put the weight into the right hand. Roll onto the right edge of the right foot. Stack the feet on top of each other. Make sure your shoulder blade is drawing down your back and you're not hunching the shoulders here. Reach the left arm up. Take that top leg into a tree position and then place that left foot behind you. So it's a different variation of wild thing here. Then from here, we're going to lower the hip bones down. Keep them lifted. Bring the left elbow to the belly button. Lift that right leg up. And then lower down and expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale, expand. Come forward back into your plank position. Then from here, we're rolling onto the left. Make sure that shoulder blade is drawing down the back. Stack the feet on top of each other. Making your way up into side plank. Come into a side tree. Take that top leg, place the foot behind you. Inhale, reach the hips up. Exhale, lower down. Bring that bottom leg up. Elbow to belly button. Expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale, expand. Come forward, back into your plank position. Lower down the knees. We're going to take a child's pose here. And just take a few moments just to focus on your breath, staying in child's pose. And then from your child's pose position, you're going to take the left arm out to the left. Take your right arm over and place the forehead in between the arms. Just coming into a nice deep side stretch here. Take your right arm over to the right, left arm over to meet it. Place the forehead in between the hands, the arms. Coming back into centre, you're going to slowly roll all the way up. Come back into your hero pose. So to finish off, we're going to um, do a few stretches um, just to end our practice. So you're going to come to sit on our sit bones, take the legs out in front of you. We're going to come into a nice little twist, um, which I always love to finish my practices on. So bring the right knee in towards you, placing the right foot down onto the mat. Then take that foot onto the outer edge of the left leg, okay? So our legs crossed over into a little bit of a twisting position here. 
we're going to take that left leg, bend it, and bring the left heel, tucking it towards, I'll come around and show you, towards our sit bone here. So both sit down bones are pressed down onto the mat, pull this left leg, this right leg up, sorry, right foot's pressed down onto the mat, we're going to lift our right arm up, take it behind us, press into the mat and use it as an extension of your spine to sit up really lovely and tall. Inhale, lift the left arm up, twist, round to the right and then hook that left elbow onto the right thigh. So twist it round, turn your gaze over to your right shoulder. So we're coming into this really lovely deep twist here. And remember to breathe into each pose. I know it's really easy to forget. Exhale, just twist round to the left, placing the hands down onto the mat. And then place the hands down onto the left side. Um, now, yogi's choice here, we're going to come into, change it onto the other side. We can either come out of it this way, or I'm going to show you another way. So if you want to try it the harder way, place your hands down onto the mat, onto the side. Come onto the right foot, lift the hips up. Just walk the hands all the way round to the left and then you should come down onto the sit bones with your left leg now on top of the right in the exact same position but on the other side. If that was a bit confusing for you, you couldn't really work out what I did, you can take the legs out in front of you, bring the left knee in towards you, place the left foot to the outer edge of the right leg, bring that right heel to the left sit bone. And again, this time we're going to take the left arm behind us, reach the right arm up, twist round to the left, hook that arm onto the outer thigh, and take our gaze over to the left shoulder. to centre, take that twist over to the right. Come back to centre, we're going to take the legs out in front of us, give them a little shake. We're going to come into a forward fold. Um, now if you struggle with a forward fold, you can use a strap. Um, you can come into, use a tie as well, any kind of long, um, you can even use roll up a blanket and use that. And if you're going to do that, you're just going to Take it so it places underneath the arches of your feet because you want to try and keep the back nice and straight when we come into our forward fold. So draw the belly button, really sit up onto the sit bones. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, you're hinging from the hips as we fold forward, coming all the way down, pressing the torso down onto our legs, coming into our forward fold. This is quite a deep stretch here along for the hamstrings. And inhale, slowly roll back up. We're going to press the feet down onto the mat, come to lie onto our backs. We're just going to finish off with one more hip opener. Um, I like to finish off with a happy baby pose. So for a happy baby, there's two choices. You're going to take the knees out wide, bring the heels up towards the ceiling. You can either place the hands around the thigh, so you're hugging the inner thighs, and then open up the hips this way. Or if you feel up to it, you can take the hands to the pinky edges, out edge of the feet, and open up the legs this way. Try and keep the lower back pressed down onto the mat, and you can just take a little rock from side to side, just to massage our lower backs. And this is a really good one, just to open up hip flexors as well. And it's always important to finish your practice on a hip opener, because we work the legs a lot. And then hug the knees in, give yourself a final little hug, a little rock from side to side. And at the end of the practice, what I tend to do is I like to finish off with just a couple of minutes, just to myself on my mat where I can just bring my awareness within, um, just closing the eyes and just focusing and cooling down the body. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this session today. If you'd like to watch any more videos with me, then please hit subscribe um, and where you can do more yoga with me from the comfort of your own home. Thanks.